This deck was connected to that siding and the siding was gone uh, for about half of it. And the other half is, is doing all right. So instead of just going in the middle, it, and normally I wouldn't go more than six feet, and this is less than six feet, but they did about 12 feet without a support in the middle when we put one in. But he pulled it back from the middle toward the back to help support this back here. And then we jacked it up, put the 404s in, and then lag bolt through the two by sixes on each side to support it. And then, because it's still not connected very well to the what they would call a rim joist, which is the two by six that runs on the outside of the floor joist, uh, that's pretty rotted. Um, so we put braces so that this side would stay no matter what. So we're supported back there and we're braced. And uh, that would be something I always recommend that you do when you do whenever you go on to the side of a hill with a deck, it's going to want to go down the hill. Um, so you want to put supports at no more than six feet at a time. Uh, it should be a support through. And uh, then you ought to put some diagonal braces. And that's what I was going to show you.